everybody JGC Rojo Food List. Okay? Hashtag JGC Rojo Food List. Kung hindi pa po kayo familiar sa food list na yon, you can check that out. Kapag nakita nyo, lalabas sa inyong timeline would be something like this. Okay? So, sandali lang. I will check this. Para mas maging mabilis yung internet natin. Okay? Ito yung makikita nyo. So, it is a food list that I created divided into three. Safe, caution, and danger list. So, ginawa ko yung video na to, specifically sa groups natin, our groups, Life Without Rice and Low Carb Feasting and Fasting Community. If hindi pa kayo membro ng group na yon, you can be a member of that. But we are also live in our page and also to our groups. And of course, ating mga masterclass groups and graduates, alam na nila to. So, usually yung mga nagtatanong yung hindi part ng masterclass. Kahit pa paulit-ulit na natin sinasabi kung bakit na sa ganyan, nagtatanong pa din. And also, I would like to say thank you sa ating mga admins and moderators. Especially, merong last post dyan si Admin Earl in LCFF community. Kasi yung parating tinatanong ng mga tao, paulit-ulit na lang, okay po ba ito? Pasok po ba ito sa low carb? Okay lang po ba kakaunting ganyan? So, if we answer all that, you have to understand na mauubos, hindi mauubos yung pagkain sa mundo kung tatanungin natin isa-isa kung pasok ba yan sa low carb o hindi ba yan pasok sa low carb. Okay? So, huwag kayong magalala. Hindi ako galit. Okay? But if you are part of the master class, you'll know that during the time that I'm in my like teaching mode. Okay? So, hindi talaga, wala talaga akong panahon maging maging mag sugar coat ng mga bagay-bagay, okay? Especially if we are sugar free. So first, uunahin natin yung danger list ha. Kasi yung danger list ginawa ko dito kakaunti lang, okay? Bakit maliit lang yung danger list dito? Kasi we want you to feel first na ang low carb na pagkain is not restrictive, okay? Hindi dahil bawal yung cake, bawal yung soft drinks, ay parang wala ka nang makakain. Of course not. It's just a matter of mindset. So, mas marami pa rin yung safe na pwedeng kainin. Especially kapag nilump mo yung mga bagay na actually hindi talaga kailangan. And most importantly, mga bagay na sa totoo lang ay damaging for your health. So, yung nasa danger list natin, nakalagay dyan, must be avoided as much as you can. So, eto yung mga bagay na kailangan talagang i-avoid. Sandali lang. Na kailangan talagang i-avoid or else you will really have a lot of problems. Kaya nga nagkakaroon ng diabetes, hypertension sa mga bata. Allergies, okay? Merong hika, yung hikain, ano pa bang problema ng mga bata? Kapag parating nagsusugatan, may mga rashes. Ang ganda-ganda ng skin, alam mo, alagang-alaga mo yan. Yung binibili mong mga sabon, puro hypoallergenic pa. Kung ano-ano pang special na sabon yung ginagawa. Pero, tingnan nyo, ang katikat na maraming mga katikat eh. It's because the body of the child is already inflamed from the inside. Namamaga na po yung loob-loob ba ng iyong anak. Okay? If it's already showing in the skin, you can just imagine kung anong epekto niyan sa loob that is already that how come it's already manifesting inside okay so proceed number one na pagkain sa danger list natin ultra processed foods ano yung ultra processed foods eto yung mga pagkain hindi hindi mo talaga makikita sa nature okay yung isang basic na ultra processed foods na akala natin masustansya pandesal okay bakit pwede bang ipatubuin yung pandesal pwede mo bang itanim yan Pwede mo bang mabingwit yan? Of course not. Kailangan magtanim ka ng wheat, wheat na grain. Pagkatapos ng ilang buwan, patutubuin mo. And then, you will have to grind it, ipulverize. After that, i-mix mo sa itlog. Meron ka ng arena. Mix mo sa itlog, sa kung ano-ano pa. And then, kailangan mo siyang ilagyan pa ng yeast. Okay? Paalsahin. And then, lutuin. So, how many types, how many processing is that? Sobra-sobrang dami na yan. So, it's actually a very processed foods. Pandesal, 
yung mga bread na yan, those are really processed foods. Okay? At marami ng kung ano-anong extenders, kung ano-ano pang nilalagay. And how much more? Yung mga breakfast cereals. Okay? Yung mga breakfast cereals, chocolate flavor, fruit flavor, that's really not healthy anymore. Alam mong super impossible yan sa nature yung mga ganyan. So, I understand, especially sa parents, na just because those foods are somewhat mas mahal, you, those are really quite more expensive. Mas, be, mas kailangan mong bumili noon. Say for example, sa itlog, itlog is re readily available. And sometimes, we want to give the best for our children. And we have this wrong notion na kung ano yung mahal, yun yung maganda. We thought na kung ang isang bagay ay something that you have to spend on, you are showing more love. Kasi nga, mas bumili, bumili ka nun. Mas malaki yung ginastos mo doon. Kapag nagsisweldo tayo, una natin yung bibilhin, yung mga pang snacks ng bata, yung mga pang chichirya, yung mga babaunin niya sa school, na lahat nakapakete na. But you have to really question yourself. If the moment that you buy that, kahit pa alam mong paborito yan ang anak mo, pero in the long run, anong epekto niyan? Okay? Because in the long run, most likely, you will just have a child who is going to be a sugar addict. Kung ikaw na nahihirapan ngayon magwin off from high carb going to low carb, you can make that challenge 10 times more. Kasi kahit pa yung nakasanayan natin is high carb, Pero yung generation natin, it was a less processed high carb. Kanin, okay, kamote, saging. Pero yung mga Cheerios, yung mga Pop-Tarts, especially in the US, kung ano-ano pang mga fruit, lo fruit, fruit Loops, ano yun? Fruit, fruitus? Ano nga yun? Yung mga cereals na circle, okay? Yung chocolate-based na cereals. Yung yogurt na nagkaroon lang, parang yogurt flavor na lang. Pero yung totoo, it's just sugar. Okay? Okay, kahit pa masarap yan. Alam ko yan kasi lumaki din ako ng ganyan. But before, it wasn't even available. Kapag nakakainom kami yan, maybe once every, once a month siguro. Hindi tulad ngayon, na ginagawa na siyang everyday. At yung sugar impact niyan sa katawan ng mga kabataan is sobra-sobra talaga. So, Kung ayaw mong yan yung anak mo, maging katulad mo someday na nahihirapan mag-lifestyle change, o di kaya, hindi natin alam kung anong dadatnan yan because of the many illness brought about by the food that you are buying. So, you have to think kung ano yung unahin mo, yung temporary happiness niya, na masisihan siya, na dinalhan mo siya ng, ng isang chocolate drink, okay? O, yung health niya in the future. Okay, so all of those are in our ultra-processed foods. Pastries, okay, pasta, okay, most pasta, especially instant noodles, instant canton, yung mga chips. Every time uh, manunood kayo ng Netflix, meron ba kayong dinadampot na kung ano-ano dyan, chips. Cakes and desserts, generally. Exemption, of course, a life without rice, kasi nga, Iba yun, na tweak na yun into low-carb counterpart. Ice cream, candies. Candy is, ano yun talaga yan? 100% made of something useless. Breads, baked product, french fries, corn, potato, potato chips, corn chips, potato chips, kung ano-ano pa, pareho lang. Okay? Sandali, medyo ano. Okay. Uh, okay ba? Naririnig nyo pa rin ako? I hope you can still hear me. I turned off the volume, pero I think dapat yung microphone ko okay pa din. So, next on the danger list is sugar. So, kahit pa sabihin mo, hindi na ako nag-aasukal, dok, wala na akong white sugar. Hindi ka na nag-aasukal ng puti, pero red, ano na lang, brown sugar na lang, o di kaya coco sugar, o di kaya honey Wild honey po ito. Oh, manuka honey. Ito yung pinakamahal. Okay? Meron pa um, pure maple syrup. Hindi po ito processed. Totoo po talagang maple syrup ito. Yes, those are better than the processed ones. Okay? 
better yon pero better pa rin ifola yon because those are fructose okay yung fructose hindi man siya diretsyang nakakapagpataas ng yung blood sugar pero yung ginagawa niya pinapataas niya yung degree of inflammation sa liver natin okay kasi nga it's readily converted into triglycerides nakakapagpataas po ng triglycerides ang fructose okay especially na kinakain mo ito on top of everything else pangdagdag sa kung ano-ano pa and kapag meron ng fatty liver at meron ng pamamaga sa atay yun ay number one hindi siguro number one contributory factor in developing insulin resistance all the more na magkakaroon ng insulin resistance okay processed oils and condiments so lahat ng mga seed oils margarine vegetable oil shortening yung mga ginagawang pampatigas ng cookies okay condiments yung mga usually yung mga yung mga seasoning okay so those are danger list kasi hindi mo nga alam kung anong laman yan alam mo ba kung anong laman yan kahit pa sabihin pa nilang it's 100% made of chicken <laughs> ang hirap talagang paniwalaan yung 100% made of chicken makukuha mo ba yan kung if you can mimic something like that na makakagawa ka ng isang ganyang buo galing sa isang chicken sige baka maniwala ako pero ngayon ang hirap maniwala na it's from 100% chicken okay so every ta- everything na hindi mo na mai-identify, hindi mo paniniwalaan that it's really natural. That's, those are really processed. And the worst drinks, okay? So, yung mga worst drinks are nakakapag-spike ng iyong blood sugar, nakakapag-lead into inflammation because of fructose, and also can da- damage your liver. So, fruit juices, okay? Especially the fruit juice na either yung mga nasa botelya nasa can those are the worst kind okay but even to some extent kahit pa fresh fruit juice pero kung ito ay extracted na tinapon mo na yung fiber yung kinuha mo lang yung pure fruit na juice na puro fructose lang naman at pinipili mo pa yung mga fruits na sobrang tamis so those are not being helpful anymore especially iniinom mo siya after mong kumain ng full meal with rice with vegetable on the side with another fruit on the side tapos lagyan mo lang ng kakaunting isda kasi takot ka sa red meat those are not going to help you kung totoong nakakatulong sa iyo yan you wouldn't be here you would you wouldn't be searching for a better option It's because you are not reaching your goal when it comes to your health. You should be honest with yourself. But of course, if you are perfectly happy sa iyong ginagawa sa buhay, then wag niyo na akong i-follow, okay? Pagpatuloy niyo lang yung ginagawa niyo. Beer. Oh, so sino mga beer lover diyan? Beer is really really worst kasi nga meron na siyang alcohol, meron pa siyang carbs, okay? So, siya talaga yung kailangang iwasan. Dinadamage na yung iyong yung iyong liver at the same time binigbigyan mo pa siya ng recipe o ingredients para makagawa pa ng even more fats. Okay? And during that time, hindi niya gagamitin yung sugar na yon. Yung gagamitin niya ang energy is the alcohol. Uunahin mo na i-burn ng katawan yung alcohol. And then the sugar, pwede siyang i-store as fats. Okay? So, yun yung ayaw natin. Baka hindi natin matapos ngayon, no? Meron kaming appointment, eh. may lakad kami in a short while. But we will try. Okay? So, yun yung nasa danger list. So, yung wala dito, like sasabihin mo, Doc, okay ba yung french fries? So, it's very processed. Hindi na nga yan sliced na french, na french fries. Alam mo, galing yan sa powder na shinape lang ng ano, at pinirito sa kung saan-saan. So, those are in our danger list. So, you have to know the concept of danger list. Yung mga pagkaing nakakapagpataas ng blood sugar, nakaka-lead into inflammation. Yun talaga yung danger list natin. And those are very processed. Wala sa kinakain ng ating ancestors way back 500 years ago. Okay? Or kahit ano na lang. Kahit na lang the last 100 years. Yung parang hindi pa nadidiskubre. The last 100 years. Okay? na in widespread setting. The next would be the one in our caution list. Okay? So, yung caution list natin, caution, mag-ingat. 
Okay? Dahan-dahan. Hindi sinasabing bawal na bawal, like never ever in your life. Hindi. Pero, you have to be mindful. Hindi unlimited. Okay? Bakit? Meron silang effect. Tatlo dito, merong with insulin effect, merong with effect na hindi related to insulin but can lead into either inflammation o di kaya magkakaroon ka ng hindi natural na craving sa pagkain. So, it messes up with your brain. Okay? So, ano-ano yung mga pagkain na to? Sa fruits, lahat na natin. All fruits. Okay? Lahat ng prutas nasa, nasa caution list. Okay? Meron lang nakalagay na kakaunting safe sa safe list. Mamaya na natin i-discuss yan. But generally, lahat ng prutas, especially matamis na prutas, caution list na yan. Because it's made of fructose. Okay? It is going to be on caution list, especially kapag hindi ka pa target sa iyong health goal. Okay? Kung ikaw naman, feeling mo naman ay sobrang healthy mo na kasi nga triathlete ka, nag-ironman race ka, okay? At saka ano ba ba yung mga iba ngayon? Marami na ngayong mga ganyan eh, mga challenges na ganyan. So, if you are a triathlete, okay? So, maybe, and wala kang any health issue, so maybe you can take some fruits once in a while. Pero, kung diabetic ka, tatlo-tatlo yung gamot mo, may high blood ka pa, yung triglycerides mo ay umaapaw na, abay, kapag nagfo-fruits ka, anong mangyayari sa'yo? Okay, yung mangyayari sa'yo, dadagdagan mo yung insulin resistance mo sa katawan. Dadagdagan mo yung ingredients na nandyan sa katawan mo to make more triglycerides, to make more inflammation. Yung ating pagtaas ng blood pressure natin is from inflammation. Hindi yan dahil sa asin. Dahil ang asin din, yung water retention sa katawan, hindi rin yan dahil sa pagkain ng asin. Dahil yan sa insulin. Kapag kumain ka ng sugar, tataas yung insulin mo. Yung insulin, isa siyang salt retaining molecule. Okay? Kapag mataas yung insulin mo sa katawan, magde-demand siya sa iyong kidney sa iyong kidneys, no? Sa mga bato mo. Sasabihin niya, hoy, wag mong ilabas yung asin. Akin lang siya. So, yung gagawin ng kidneys mo, ire-retain niya yung asin sa katawan. Hindi niya ilalabas. At, anong gagawin ng katawan mo? Kasi, pinigilan yung paglabas ng asin. Pipigilan din niya yung paglabas ng tubig. That's why, nagkakaroon ng water retention because of salt retention. But, it's not because of salt intake. Of course, kung dadamihin mo yung, yung salt intake, all the more, nadadami yung masustore niya. But it is not sustainable for you to lower your salt intake. Kasi if you lower your salt intake, dodoblehen ng dodoblehen, mas kakayod ng sobra yung kidneys mo just to retain more salt. Kasi yun yung demand sa kanya eh. When what you need to do is actually address yung diktador sa itaas, which is insulin. Kailangan mo lang pababain si insulin and your kidney will function normally, will function at its best nang walang diktador sa kanyang buhay. And alam niyang magbalance ng asin sa katawan. Na kapag sobra na yung asin, iihi niya ito. Kapag kulang yung asin, merong part dyan sa ating nephron o yung basic unit natin sa ating kidney Meron siyang part na bago mo siya iihi, kukunin niya muna. Oy, kuha muna ako dito kasi kinukulang na ako. Merong mga recycling, reabsorption na area, okay? Sa tubules natin sa ating kidneys, okay? So, that's the reason why yung mga taong kailangan pang mag-heal, yung kailangan pang gumaling, avoid muna yung caution list at all cost, Okay? But of course, we understand if nagsisimula pa lang at nahihirapan, at least do it one meal at a time. Kung sanay kayong kumain ng five meals na puro high carb, start by making the first meal low carb, and then maybe after two days, three days, or one week, dalawang meal na yung low carb mo, tatlo na lang yung high carb, and then after two weeks, 
Ah, uh, tatlo na low carb, yung dalawa, dalawa na lang yung high carb, pandesal na lang at pang dinner. And then later on, you change your snacks pang hapon na pandesal, ginawa mo ng itlog, okay? And all the more, baka hindi mo lang malay, na, mamalayan yung lahat ng meal mo, naging low carb na, na lima. And then the moment you already make your meals all low carb, magugulat ka lang na hindi mo na kailangan limang beses kumain. Tatlo lang, dalawang beses lang, o kahit isang beses ka lang kumain sa isang araw. You will already feel good. You will already feel satisfied at hindi ka magugulat ka na na parang ibang tao ka na na noon every 1 to 2 hours naghahanap ka na naman kung ano na naman yung makakain mo and then you will just surprise yourself. Ako pa rin ba to? Bakit hindi ako gutom? Alas 12 na. Bakit hindi pa ako galit na walang pagkain? Bakit okay lang kahit walang pagkain ngayon? Bakit okay lang kahit wala pang nakahapag sa sa aming ka aming table ng Kanin, bakit wala na akong pakialam kahit merong kanin sa aking harap? Okay? When that happens, it only means you are already adapted. Nasanay na po kayo. Okay? So, kapag nangyari yan, congratulations. Yun yung sinasabi ko when I started before. If I will tell this to myself, no, way back, say for example, four years ago, na grabe ako makahigh carb, Matapos sasabihin, oy alam mo ba, kaya mong, kaya mong mabuhay ng isang buwan na hindi ka nakakatikim ng kahit anong matamis, hindi ako maniniwala. Kasi yung ginagawa ko noon, while I was still uh, working in the hospital every day, nag-oopera ako from 6, 6 a.m. to mga 7, 6 a.m. dapat kasi cutting time kapag nag-oopera, dapat 7 o'clock, nagsisimula ka nang mag-opera. So, dapat nandun ka na 6.30 Pero kung hindi ikaw yung main surgeon, assist ka lang. So, dapat mas mauuna ka sa surgeon. Okay? So, dapat you have to be there earlier. So, around 6 in the morning. Doon ka na sa hospital. And then, opera, opera, opera. Okay lang kung matapos ka ng, ng 12 or 1. So, around that time, lunch break. Pero, nakahilera na yung operahan mo sunod. So, kailangan ka kumain na mabilis. Kaya ako nagpa-practice ng mindful eating kasi noon, 5 minutes lang tapos na akong kumain. Kasi nga, kailangan pa akong tumakbo ulit sa operating room. Pero, pagkatapos kong kumain yan, diretso na ako, bibili na ako ng bukayo. Alam niyo yung bukayo. Okay? So, yung mature coconut no, na shredded and then ginaw, nilagyan ng brown sugar. Tapos, ganyan siya. Meron akong binibili niyan, 15 pesos, limang, limang piraso na. So, galing sa cafeteria ng hospital, papunta ng operating room, habang naglalakad ako, the moment na makarating ako sa operating room, ubus na yung lima na yun. And that's what I did every day for three years. Okay? Ganon, ganon ako ka um, sweet tooth. At hindi lang yun yung kinakain ko, of course, pagkatapos ko mag-duty, makikikain na naman ako kung ano-ano lang dyan. Okay? So that's why tapos na that, that's why the whole time hindi ko rin mawari bakit ako parating may sinusitis, bakit ako allergic rhinitis kahit every day nagme-maintain ako ng antihistamine. Ilang beses na ako nagsispray. Sobra nag-overdose na ako sa antihistamine noon. Hindi pa rin, hindi pa rin ako makatulog kasi hindi ako makahinga. Kasi nga hindi ko pa alam na yung bukayo pala na kinakain ko Yun lang pala yung kailangan kong kunin. And then yung, ano, yung inflammation sa rhinitis ko, mawawala na. Anyway, fruits, all fruits, kailangan talaga mga pasyente ko, after kong nag-effort ng ganito, ilang, ilang oras kong nag-lecture, tapos at the end of it all, tatanungin, Dok, yung saging okay lang. Okay? Saging is fruit. Meron pa. Dok, yung langka po, yung hilaw. Kahit hilaw pa yan, langka pa rin yan, prutas pa rin yan. Eh, yung papaya, Dok, Tapos, ano ba yung papaya? Vegetable ba yan? Yung hilaw, Dok, yung sa tinola. Prutas pa din yan. Hilaw lang. So, usually, when a fruit is still not ripe, it's mostly starch. Okay? So, hindi siya fructose. But it is another form of carbohydrate. Starch. Kapag niluto, especially undergoing heat, okay, mabibreakdown pa rin into glucose. Okay? So, it's just another form. So, lahatin na natin to be safe ha although maraming exemption pero this one this one is to make it the safer and generic okay but if in doubt 
Google. Kung nakita nyo ako dito, so you have internet access, i-Google nyo lang. Net carbs. Okay? Kay para, para makita nyo kung ilan talaga yung grams of carbohydrates na nagiging glucose. Net carbs of, kung ano man dyan. Malalagay nyo per cup of. So, net carbs of one cup, one cup banana. Net carbs of one cup like that. And you will see. Okay? You have to help yourself. Kasi hindi, ano, yung videos, pwede nyo i-replay. Pero, if you really want to make this sustainable, eventually, kayo din tutulong sa iba. At hindi pwedeng sabihin nyo lang, ganyan. Ma you will actually feel the moment na kayo na mag magtuturo sa iba, tapos yung paulit-ulit na lang, you will actually feel na you know that it's not sustainable unless you really teach them na kung ano yung reason behind. That's why, that's the purpose of this video. Okay? It's teaching you how to fish, not giving you fish. Okay? Ayokong mag-tolerate ng mediocrity. Okay? Kaya, like for example, kahit sa daan, naawa ako sa mga pulubi sa daan. In fact, I made a foundation, yung Bayanihan Mission, during pandemic, especially dedicated sa mga, ganon, marginalized. But, Seldom, seldom you can see me giving alms. Hindi talaga ako nagbibigay ng ano, ng help through sa pagbibigay lang ng alms. Okay, I don't do that because that is that is just cultivating a culture of mediocrity, of dependence. Okay, if you want to help, help in a sustainable way. Okay, next would be root crops and starchy foods. So, root crops, mga lamang lupa, tama ba? <laughs> Hindi ko alam. So, root crops would be carrots, potato, kahit kamote pa. Yes, they are nutritious. Okay? No question, they are natural. Ube, squash, yung kalabasa, peanuts, beans, generally most beans. Sobrang konti lang yung beans na low carb. Okay? So, might as well avoid all beans. Kung hindi man, kung low carb man siya, kasi nga, puro protein siya, but it can also be inflammatory. So, that's why beans in general, nasa caution list. So, as you can see, these are natural food. Di ba? Coming from nature. Pero bakit nasa caution list? Because they can trigger nga. They, when taken in excess, it can still be, ano ba yan? It can still be related to spiking your blood sugar. Ito yung rason kung bakit tagal mo ng diabetic tapos lahat ng pagkain sinasabi sa iyo before sinusunod mo na. Hindi ka na kumakain ng baboy, hindi ka na kumakain ng karne, hindi ka na kumakain ng matamis, sobrang miss na miss mo na yung coke, pero hindi ka na umiinom, sobrang bait mo, pero yung sugar mo mataas pa din. Kasi, nung tinanggal, at kahit pa nga tinanggal mo na yung kanin, di ba? Naging black rice ka na lang. Okay? Pero bakit ganun pa din? Kasi kung ang carbohydrates ng net carbs sa kada cup ng white rice is 45, yung na black rice, baka nasa 42. <laughs> Or yung brown rice nasa 43. Okay? So, just kidding. Those are just estimate. Okay? Generally, hindi sila nagkakalayo in carbohydrate component. Okay? Mas marami lang yung fiber yung isa. May mas additional lang na B vitamins. Merong additional na, say for example, uh, konting proteins. Okay? But, at the end of it all, yung isa mas may counting potassium. But it's not worth, it's not worth the blood sugar spike. Kasi eventually, tataas at tataas pa din. Walang makakatumbas sa benefit when you remove it all together you can try okay so again this is just for educational purposes if ayon yun maniwala okay lang walang problema yan okay this is mainly for the people who are asking at para isang beses na lang that's also the reason why i no longer have time to do one on one consultations po kasi po, yung i-google natin isang oras sa isang konsulta na hindi pa ako sigurado kung naiintindihan ba ako o nakikinig ba. Okay? We can might as well do this and spread to hello to 1,200 live viewers. And if you can share this in your timeline, those 1,200, that can multiply. 
para mas marami. Baka may matauhan dyan. Okay? Next na natural food that is still in caution list na with insulin effect would be the grains. Okay? So, yung grains, yung grains natin is the, wait, taka yung makita kayong picture dito. Okay? Grains would be oats, wheat, corn, rice. Okay? Limit, lagyan lang. Uh, yung mga iba, doc, nakalagay dyan rice 20 grams or half cup a day. Caution list. So, pwede ako mag-rice ng half cup. Nasa sa'yo yan. Pero, yun nga, huwag mong i-label na low carb. Kasi yung low carb natin, safe list lang. Okay? Generally, safe list. Kung meron ka man sa caution list na low carb, not the one with insulin effect. Okay? At least yung isa lang, yung magkakaroon, the ones that can mess up your brain na magkakaroon ka ng cravings. So, risk mo yun. Okay? Na low carb ka nga, pero hirap na hirap ka. Struggle na struggle sa sa'yo ang paglo-low carb because you're always incorporating the ones in the caution list na kahit pa yung blood sugar mo ay normal naman, hindi na nagsuspike, pero yung dinaramdam mo, sobrang hirap. It's because you are eating foods that are messing up with your brain. Okay? So, kahit oatmeal, lahat ng wheat and wheat products, so, yung kasama na dyan is, yun nga, yung nasa danger list natin, yung lahat ng flour-based products. So, corn, of course, may mga sabi, yung matanda, mga matatanda sa amin, yung ginagawa nilang pagkakanin is corn. Okay? So, yung kung ginagawa nilang kanin ay corn, tapos matanda na sila, oh, well, that's well and good. So, kamusta naman yung memory nila? Kilala pa rin, ka pa rin ba nila? Kilala pa rin ba nila yung sarili nila? Because based on studies, those who are always eating grains, okay, high intake of grains, pwede, they might live long. Just like in Sardinia, okay, one of the blue zones in the world. Sa Spain, for example, matataas yung lifespan nila. Pero ano yung quality of life nun? Buhay sila. Pero ano yung quality of life? Ano naman yung incidence of Alzheimer's disease? Okay? Yung maka uh, ilang taon ka nung last kang last mong nasabi na your brain is so sharp, your mental processing is so sharp. Okay? So that's why nasa caution list lahat 'yan. Okay? And then next would be yung mga walang masyadong insulin effect but merong inflammatory effect or magkakaroon siya ng in a natural craving sa'yo. So, these are the ones that can mess up your brain. So, nandito yung processed meats, bacon, chorizo, ham, salami. Lahat ng processed meats na parating ginagawang silog at breakfast meal sa atin. So, good news, hindi po kasama yung daing sa processed meats because those are naturally processed. Yung mga dried fish, hindi po sila kasama. So, those are okay. And yung maganda sa mga maliliit na na ano na mga fishes yung mga dilis ba tawag doon yung mga maliliit those are very high in omega 3 and kapag tama yung pagkaka-dry dito hindi yung kung ano-anong processing yung natural lang sun dried lang talaga they actually retain their omega 3 so it's still a good source of omega 3 hindi niyo na kailangan uminom pa ng omega 3 okay Next would be de, dito. Dito yung parating yung nagfe-fail, oh. especially yung mga girls dyan. Okay, nang sexy na. Pero yung BP nila, nag-fluctuate pa din from time to time. When was the last time you've had cheese? Or anything with all-purpose cream or heavy cream? Okay? And regular butter o kung ano mang merong milk. Because these are processed pa din. Okay? Some people might not react bad to it, but certain people will really, really manifest, especially if hindi ka pa fully healed. Okay? Condiments, coco aminos. Okay? Coco aminos nandyan sa ating not safe because it still is high in fructose. I think per tablespoon, nasa 3 to 5, 3 to 5 gram of... of net carbs. So, if ilalagay mo yan into 100 grams, so maybe nasa 30. Okay? Mga nasa 30 grams. So, 30%. So, that's already high. Okay? Lahat ng mayonnaise, kahit pa full fat pa yan, always the question, 
wala akong makita sa local market sa mga common stores dito sa ano sa Pilipinas na really safe mayo kahit pa yung Japanese mayo it's still using soybean oil so right now talaga kahit gustong gusto ko yung mayo like mahilig talaga ako sa mayo kung pwede pa lang lahat ng pagkain nilalagyan ko ng mayonnaise noon I cannot remember the last time I've had mayonnaise it's because yun nga it's really inflammatory okay Uh, mga other condiments, ketchup, sauces, dips, kahit pa sinasabing low carb, if it's high carb, then it will belong to danger list. But if it's a low carb counterpart, pero na nandito pa rin, so th those are processed na low carb, so those are in caution list. Then, lahat na naggumagamit ng mga sweeteners, kahit pa sinasabing zero calorie, hindi nagsaspike ng sugar, okay? So, given, kahit sabihin na natin, you don't react on stevia, you don't react on on monk fruit, you don't react on erythritol or allulose, still, okay? So, others, all the more, sucralose, okay? Yung ganyang mga sweeteners, lahat ng yan. Tatanong na naman kayo, may marunong magtatanong, Doc, pwede ba yung ano, yung EG, yung ganyan? Sinasabi na natin, lahat ng sweetener, bakit? regardless of their controversial or shady na effect on the blood sugar, one thing is for sure, they are all messing your brain. Okay? You will always crave for something sweet. At alam nyo ba yung pinaka nakaka, parang nakakatakot dito? Your sweet craving or yung parang search for sugar, the sugar addiction, is actually worse as compared to like eating. Okay, so it doesn't mean na babalik kayo sa high carb, ah, but just the concept. Because your body, whenever your brain, whenever it feels something sweet, na-activate yan yung pleasure center mo sa utak. Pero meron din siyang glucose receptor. Supposedly, kapag naramdaman niya na merong matamis na pumasok, automatic dapat madedetect niya na meron ding glucose na pumasok. And then it will be happy. Pero ano yung ginagawa ng ganito, ng mga sweeteners? It will make the pleasure center triggered. Okay? Good. Parang na, you feel pleasured. Pleasure, pleasurable. Okay? You felt the pleasure. And then, instantly, yung glucose receptor, walang natanggap. Kasi nga, keto bomb yung kinain mo. So, ano yung mangyayari doon sa glucose receptor? Yun yung, magig, yun yung parang magpapabaliw sa'yo. Okay, it will go crazy. How come na meron akong natikmang matamis pero walang glucose? And that's why you can only you can be honest with yourself. That's why every time kahit pa sabihin mong you have a sense of control na kaya mong hindi tumikim, sabihin mo kaya kong tumikim pa konti-konti lang, okay? Kahit pa sabihin mo you already have that sense of control na ma-okay ka na, makatikim ka lang ng konti. But you can honestly say yourself, you cannot say no totally, right? You just don't have the capacity. And it's, it's not just about willpower. It's about the chemical processing in your brain. You are not weaning from that sugar addiction. Okay? Feeling mo lang, in control ka. Okay? But actually, what you just did, naging nag-compromise ka lang. Okay? You were just compromising a part of it. But you are not letting it go totally. And good thing, if you can keep that up, kung mapapagpatuloy mo yan, in a short, in what, how, in what span of time. Pero, we don't know until when. When will you snap? Okay? When will you break down? When will your guard, let your guard down? And all of this, bigla biglang babalik. So, always, when it comes to addiction, and in all forms ha, the person who are who is doing it and is aware of addiction, yung iniisip nila, usually, is they are the ones in control. Kasi sila yung nila decide But they don't know. They thought they are the one deciding, but they don't know. Meron yung parang shadow at the back. Making them feel that they are the one in control. But at the end of it all, they are giving in to the addiction. Okay? Abstinence 
for me, is still the most effective. It's all or nothing. What you see, you will always look for, you will always crave. Okay? The brain will always crave the things that it experiences. But the moment na tanggalin mo yan, it can actually be something that it will forget. Okay? So, sugar addiction is another very broad topic. Okay? And I know, sa lahat ng hindi mag-let go dyan, don't worry, hindi ko kayo i-judge. Tatanggapin ko pa rin kayo ng buong-buo. And what is important, at least you are already in this level ba? So, kahit pa, yung problem kasi with general high-carb na addicts, mentally, they are already problematic and their body is medically also ill. Nagkakasakit na sila. So, a sugar addict, a low-carb sugar addict, will have a good physical body they will they will have a good they will have a good medical condition it's just that their mental health may not be that much okay so sasabihin nila no i'm okay i'm okay i'm good i'm good pero try to see the little things about mental health your degree of patience okay gaano ka kapasensyoso Gano ka ka-understanding, gano ka ka-open-minded, okay? Gano ka ka-imposing sa iyong mga ideas or how submissive or pushy you are, how kind you are, okay? So, those little things, okay? How tolerable are you? How tolerant are you to the mistakes of others? O baka kaunting mistake lang, sasabog ka na agad. Gano ka kapasensyoso when it comes to traffic? O kapag kumain ka sa restaurant na nagkamali yung waiter, paano ka magdideal niyan? Okay? So, only you can see that with yourself. Are you a low-carber with also a good mental health and wellness? Or, if you are a low-carber with sweet cravings, with sweet addiction still, try to check. Just try to check. Or, eto na lang. If you are a low-carber but feels like your mental health is not at the top yet, try to look how much sweeteners, low-carb sweeteners are you eating. Okay? Baka lang naman. Okay? Baka naman. And at the end of it all, sabi nga ng friend ko, I might be wrong. I've been wrong before. Yun yung favorite line niya. Every time meron siyang sasabihin sa akin na importante, yun yung sasabihin niya in the end. I might be wrong. I've been wrong before. So, I will follow that. I might be wrong. I've been wrong before. So, kayo lang makakapagsabi kung tama yan sa inyo o hindi. Soy products, soy sauce, tofu, soy milk. Meron akong ginawang video about it. Just click. Search my name and then just put soy products. I explain there kung bakit nasa caution list yung soy, kahit pa halos 100% protein siya, wala siyang carbs, wala siyang fats. Certain people might react to it. It can be inflamed. It can be inflammatory. Especially sa mga taong merong problems with gut problems. Yung sobrang tagal na ka-high carb at saka hindi pa rin nag heal they can really manifest as worsened inflammation. Mas trigger yung mga autoimmune disease, yung mga, especially sa mga lalaki, because it has phytoestrogens. So, para siyang nagmimimik ng female hormones sa katawan. So, kung lalaki ka, at meron kang female hormone, anong feeling mo mangyayari? Okay? Hindi ko alam. Nasa sa inyo na yan. But for me, try to see if you are having gynecomastia, okay? Yung man boobs, yung paglaki ng boobs ng lalaki. And other features, like feminine features, mas nagiging round yung face, mas nag, nag puput on ng weight on belly, on buttocks, <clears throat> okay? That is not supposed to be there. And lastly, yung mga nagsustall ng weight, o nakakapag-inflame, nakakapag-stop ng fat burning, and is also toxic to the liver. So, mostly the hard drinks or wine, yung low-carb na drinks, pero high in alcohol content. Okay? 
titigil na ba tayo? Tatapusin natin yung safe list. Okay? So, anyway, yun yun. Okay? Yung mga pagkain. So, yung mga pagkain na kita nyo dito, these are just samples. Highlight dito yung peanuts. Peanuts, kasama dyan, kasoy, pistachio. Yun yung mga medyo high carb na, pin, na nuts. Okay? High carb sila. So, try to avoid them at all costs. Peanut, kasoy. Yun yung uso sa Pilipinas. If you're na outside the Philippines, pistachio. Diba? Can you, ano, can you see the similarities among them? Sila yung malinamnam. Okay? And it's because of the carbs. Okay? Sad. Okay? Nalungkot din ba kayo? No, anak ko nalungkot din. Pero ngayon, wala na akong mapakialam. Sabi nila, the freedom when it comes to food intake is when you now start to shift from I can't eat that, yung ay, hindi ako makakain yan. And you will shift into I don't want to eat that. Yung ayaw ko na. Kahit pa, okay lang. Kahit pa alam kong I can just fast after, for example. But I choose to say, no, I don't want it anymore. So, that's already freedom. That's empowerment. And so, dito na tayo sa safe list. So, we intentionally made our safe list long. Okay? Say it ha. Baka makita nyo kung ano-ano dyan. We made our safe list long. Para you will feel that you really have a lot of options. So, it's generally safe. Pero among the safe list, you also have to check first with you. Kung ano talaga yung safe with you. Kasi marami tayong different preference. Okay? Meron religious preference. Meron talagang na, di nakasanayan. Or availability sa lugar. O di kaya meron ka ng certain conditions that predisposes you to certain foods. So, first, meat, poultry products. Lahat ay Okay? Okay, lahat. Pero generally, sa mga ibang tao na meron pang hindi pa fully fully healed at meron pang inflammation sa kanilang katawan, some of them might be sensitive to chicken and eggs, especially hindi organic. So, kapag ganyan, huwag magmukmuk. Always move forward, move on. Maghanap ng organic eggs, organic chicken, mag-raise ng free-range chicken, or kumain ka ng baboy. Muslim ka, kumain ka ng karne. Hin, ano yon? Buddhist? Uh, Hindi? Hindu? Hindu ka? Kumain ka ng kan, kambing? Kalabaw? Okay? Maraming option. If there is a will, there is a way. Okay? Kalabaw, kung nasa Australia ka, kumain ka ng, ano ngayon? Kangaroo? Kangaroo meat? At ngayon, umuuso na din. I think I have a friend. I have a friend. Uh, high school friend nag re ngayon ng rabbits, rabbit meat. Okay? So, by nature, kumakain tayo ng rabbit meat. But, hindi ko talaga kaya kumain yan. Naaawa ako. I'm so biased. But, if you can, okay lang yan. Rabbit meat is one of the most protein-rich meat. Less fats. And then, vegetables, green leafy vegetables, cucumber, Yung mga asparagus, cauliflower. Pero the more local, the better. Kung saan man kayo ngayon sa mundo, kung ano yung locally grown vegetables there, nandun yun. Cauliflower, broccoli, okay? Kangkong, kale, spinach, radishes. Dito, dito yung gusto ko dito, pechay, malunggay. Yun lang yung nakasanayan ko. Yung mga battle gourd, yung mga upo, yung mga parang katulad ng upo, <laughs> hindi ko alam ano pangalan nila, <laughs> yung mga yung mga pinsa ng upo, <laughs> yung mga malalaki, so all the gourd, bottle gourd, bitter gourd, at kung ano-ano pa, those are low carb, okay? Sayote is low carb. So usually, sayote, yun yung rinereplace natin instead of mga patatas, okay? I know, hindi rin ako kumakain yan kasi nga medyo magaspang, pero ngayon, tinatanggap ko na lang sila, Okay? And then, for the root crops, uh, ano yun? Singkamas. Among the root crops, singkamas yung isa sa pinakamas, ma, ma, pinakamas, ano, mas mababa yung carb content. At kung alam natin noon, yung fresh na singkamas, siya yung matamis. So, kung gusto mo mas lower yung carbs, yung medyo matagal na, 3 days, 4 days after harvest, yung matigas na, yung wala nang masyado yung kanyang juice, wala nang masyado yung kanyang sugar, at yung nandun na lang, puro fiber na. <laughs> so, yon mas mababa yun. Okay? Um, good news sa Pilipinas, actually. You can eat portions, medyo low carb pa din. Bayabas. 
pero yung malaki at yung hindi yung mapula ha, yung puti lang. Okay? To some extent, hilaw na mangga, pero yung sobrang ano lang, yung sobrang hilaw talaga, yung green, white. Okay? And still portions, isang piraso lang. Okay? For the fruits, ay nag-skip ako. Sorry. For the fruits, hindi ko kasi nilagay dito. Uh, low carb fruits, avocado. Kung walang season ng avocado, Oh, wag mag wag magtampo, wag mag ano diyan, wag mag tantrums, okay? Kung hindi season, eh di wala. We are eating on seasonal level, okay? Berries, okay? Pasensya na lang ato yung berries eh, pero tayo no sa Pilipinas talaga, nako, walang tumutubong berries pero bili ng bili ng berries, feeling lang, feeling lang diyan. So, that's why kapag kinain mo yung berries on uh on an on a time na hindi fruit bearing season ng berries especially if wala ka sa lugar na naturally tumutubo yung berries so you are actually eating already somewhat in the caution side okay i admit i i do that from time to time and actually hindi ako nauubusan ng berries meron ako diyan pero nakita niyo ba ako makain ako ng berries all the time hindi ren kaminsan minsan lang but yung sense of security depende ka rin kasi yan sa tao sometimes i have this side Yung isa, kung parating nandyan, mas madadapa ka. Okay? But that's why you eliminate them. You eliminate those foods na sobrang delikado talaga madapa. Like the ones in the danger list. So, you know, don't ever buy that. Okay? But the ones that are low carb, but somewhat you know with yourself na they are supposedly safe, no? Pero you know with yourself that you might have the tendency to overeat them. Okay? So, those are already on your caution list. So, for me, I keep them close, especially if they are essential to my happiness. Okay? Ang, at hindi ko sila kinakain parate. Parang sinasay ko yung sarili ko. I, ha I have them anytime. Okay? Anytime I want. Nandyan sila. I can eat it anytime I want. And that sense of assurance. Okay? And that sense of security na nandyan sila readily available if I want them. Parang dyan pa lang, nasasatisfy na ako. And that's also the reason why I can go on weeks, sometimes months, na hindi sila, hindi ko sila nakakain. Like the nuts that I have there, kailan ko kaya binili yan? June or May? Nandyan pa din. Okay? Hindi pa din sila ubos. Okay? So you have to know what strategy will work best for you. Okay? Uh, by the way, uh, when it comes to strategies, when it comes to mindset, na outline yan, outline yan sa books. Um, the book is actually 50%. Okay, maybe 40 to 60% scientific knowledge. But the other counterpart is just about mindsetting. For you to have that mindset for it to be sustainable. Okay, sa mga nakabasa na ng libro, I know you know that already. At kapag, but for those of you na nakilala ako, first in Facebook or in videos before the book, wag kayong mabigla na the moment you read the book, maririnig nyo ko sa inyong utak na para akong nagsasalita. That's a common, ano, that's a common feedback at saka tinatanong pa ako, Dok, bakit Dok kapag nagbabasa ako, feeling ko nasa harap ko kayo? <laughs> Yun. Anong isasagot ko dun? Ewan, ikaw kaya nag-isip niyan. Anyway, vegetables, Yung onions, nandito sila somewhat safe kasi generally, hindi naman tayo kumakain ng maraming maraming onions, okay? But if you eat a lot of onions, then that's also, ano, uh, mataas din sa carbs yan, if sobra-sobra talaga, okay? So, you have to know the portions, okay? You have to know the portions, you have to know the net carbs pa din, okay? Other vegetables that others might feel sensitive, nightshade vegetables, especially sa may mga autoimmune disease, um, ano yun? Tomato, mushroom, eggplant. Ano yan? Uh, talong. Diba? Talong. And then kamatis. Mga mushrooms. So, other people might be sensitive to that. So, you have to know kung saan ka sensitive. Oils and fats. Dito yung iba. Yung ayaw, parang ayaw nila, no? Parang takot na takot sila. But we are not afraid of coconut oil. Especially virgin coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, ghee, lard, butter, MCT oil. Okay? But, take it in portions. In general, kung general breakdown, for example, 10% of your food 
is, ano, for example, 2,000 kilocalorie. 2,000 kilocalorie. Okay, sige, tama. 2,000 kilocalorie. I know, no. 2,000 kcal yung need mo for the day. Okay, for a 70, 70 kilogram na lalaki, average na lalaki. 2,000 kilocalories. 10% carbs. Okay, 10% of 2,000, 200. Divided by 4. Kasi nga, per gram of carbohydrates is 4 kcal. So, that's 50 so, yung limit mo sa isang araw sa carbohydrates, 50. Okay? And then, kung maintenance ka lang naman, and then meron ka physical activity, and then you're already fat adapted, the remaining 200, no? So, that's already 1,800 kcal na lang. You can try to make it 50-50. Ano na lang, para madali. What's 50-50? 50-50 is 9, 1-8 divided by 2, 50%. 900 kcal fats, 900 kcal proteins. So, yung proteins na 900 kcal divided by 4. So, how much is that? 222.5 or oh, something. Oh, 220 na lang. Okay? 220 grams of proteins. So, yung 220 grams of proteins, nasa ano yan? Mga around 400 grams no halos kalahating kilo ng manok okay lean chicken breast you can already eat that in a day and paano yung taba so the fats the 900 kilocalories of fats divided by 9 so ilan 100 grams so 100 grams yung isang pakete ng all purpose cream mo 220 grams yan 220 ml so actually less kalahati lang yan tapos na yung inyong fat allowance for the day and ilan yan yung ginalagay nyo naglalagay pa kayo ng all-purpose cream ng butter, ng MCT oil tapos may itlog pa nilulut, nagluluto pa kayo sa coconut oil kung ang niluluto nyo pork chop pa tapos yung chicken, kinakain nyo pa yung chicken skin you might actually be eating too much fats okay? so you have to know those but of course we only have few minutes left because Kailangan ako malis. Actually, late na ako. I have an operation. Meron akong operahan. So, seafoods, all seafoods. And then, check this out. The rest, nandiyan lang yan. So, the rest are just the extra. Okay? Now, you can check. So, search for the hashtag para maka-copy kayo ng food list na to. You can print this out. Lagay nyo sa ref ninyo o sa kitchen ninyo o sa kwarto ninyo. <laughs> Anywhere you want. Okay? Para meron kayo. So, that's the basic of the safe, caution, and danger list. I hope nakatulong. O baka mas na-confuse kayo. No? Trust yourself. Kaya nyo yan. Maiintindihan nyo yan. Okay? So, I only, I no longer do one-on-one -on -one consultations kasi medyo marami tayo naka-backlog na ng mga trabaho. I only do guidance and help through our masterclass para isahan na lang po. Every Saturday, we do a Q&A. Doon po sinasagot yung lahat ng tanong. Kahit anong tanong pa yan. Kahit pa medical questions pa. But it will be answered in our masterclass, in our exclusive group. So, if you want to be a part of that, our admins are in the comment section. Uh, they are usually the ones. And also, pwede kayong mag-reach out sa mga coaches natin. The LCF Masterclass coaches, especially kung meron kayong kilala, they know about the masterclass. They can answer. They can help you. Especially sa mga admins natin yun, sobrang hindi na nila makaya yung pag-answer ng questions. That's why we have additional admins. But for those of you na majority of our admins and moderators actually in Life Without Rice and LCFF are... Um, also part of the master class and they are very helpful so you can inquire with them and then once they help you understand kung ano yung nasa master class kasi mas maganda rin sila makakapagsabi sa inyo kasi sila yung naka-experience din kung ano yung nasa loob ng master class and then once you want to decide that's the time that they will make a group chat with our admins for you to complete the registration okay I think yun lang okay so, currently, I'm still fasting, but mamaya maya, I'll eat low carb. Kayo den. So, cheers. So, this is the logo, low carb con, and this is uh, the one that we will launch soon. It's the one thriving world with Doc Iris Redev. 
So, we will create a unifying platform na hindi lang dedicated to low carb but for every one of us para tayo po ay mag-thrive in life in all aspects. Okay? Lahat-lahat po yan. Stay tuned about that. So, yun lang muna for now, guys. Thank you for always being with me to the 1,500, 1,000 plus live viewers a while ago. Thank you for for staying. Have a good day. I think it's already Wednesday. Have a great week ahead. Remember to stay low carb so that we all stay safe. Bye!